In this video series, we have been solving questions of previous board exams, SEE examination, grade 10 subject science. Now we are going to discuss answers of SEE examination question paper 2075 province number 4. Now we are going to discuss answers of group C. Group A and B have been done in previous video. Uh, question number 15, a gravita the gravitational force produced between any two objects kept 2.5 into 10 to the power 4 km apart is 580 Newton. At what distance should they be kept so that the gravitational force becomes half? So your question is there are two bodies, two objects and kept at this distance. Okay, 2.5 into 10 to the power 4 kilometer distance okay and the force between them is 580 newton right now question says at what distance should they be kept so new distance you have to find new distance at what distance uh, should they be kept so that the gravitational force becomes half half of 580 newton half of 580 newton force okay and what is the distance let the distance be d2 and let this distance be d1 okay now uh, you have to calculate d2 in this numerical problem so what is given in the question information is given we will take down here force at the distance d1 equal to f uh, f1 equal to 580 newton this is let this be f1 first force 580 newton and force at the distance d2 this is new force and question says it is half of the previous one that is why it is divided by 2 okay 290 newton now distance d1 is given in the question that is 2.5 into 10 to the power 4 kilometer by converting it into meter it becomes 2.5 into 10 to the power 7 meter okay kilometers should be multiplied by 1000 so that it becomes meter now you have to calculate d2 okay new distance d2 so the work is done in this way from formula uh, we know f1 equal to g mm by d square so the first force the force one is 580 newton right and g mm divided by d square the value of d is given over here 2.5 into 10 to the power 7 whole square okay yes this one now the value of gmm can be found from here so the value of g is this much by rearranging equation by doing cross multiplication this number has come over here right so this is the value of gmm now we'll go to f2 new force for uh, f2 equal to gmm by d square and from the question instruction it is 290 it is half of 580 so it is 290 and value of gmm has been found in this one this is the value of gmm which is uh, used over here and we have to find d2 uh, distance so d2 is square has been shifted to left hand side okay because this has to be calculated and the solution has been done over here yes now d2 equal to root 2 into 2.5 6.25 root 2 of 6.25 is uh, 2.5 yes and 10 to the power 7 uh, the value of root 2 is 1.4142 and 2.5 into 10 to the power 7 so finally new distance is 3.53 into the into 10 to the power 7 meter so this is your answer so the new distance where uh, the force becomes 290 newton is 3.53 into 10 to the power 7 meter 3.53 into 10 to the power 7 meter this is your answer now we'll go to question number 16 question number 16 is uh, in a house six bulbs of each of 100 watt run for eight hours daily and three heaters of 1500 watt run for five hours daily how much unit of electricity is consumed in 30 days Yes, the question is asking to find out electrical consumption in that house. Now, the solution is done in this way and you have to write down given over here. Then, uh, given information in the question, you have to take them down. For bulk, power P equal to 100 Watt. So, it should be changed into kilowatt. Yes, by dividing uh, it by 1000, it becomes kilowatt time <clears throat> should be calculated in hours 8 hours every day so it is used for 30 days that is why it is multiplied by 30 
240 hours. Number of bulbs 6. So P is 100 divided by 1000. T is 240 hours and N is 60. Now electrical consumption from formula is e equal to PTN. Electrical consumption formula power in kilowatt time in hours and N is the number of appliances. So this is the formula. So equal to uh, put the values over here and finally 144 kilowatt hour or units. So you must write unit over here. Now for heater. Now we'll go for next electrical appliance that is heater. So for heater power equal to 1500 watt. It should be changed into kilowatt. That is why it is divided by 1000 time altogether 150 hours. 5 hours daily it is used for 30 days that is why it is multiplied 150 hours number of heaters 3. So by electrical consumption formula we know EC equal to PTN putting the values over here and finally how much you get over here is 675. 675 by calculating this one this zero gone this zero gone this one gone this one gone and multiplying 15 into 15 to 3 you will get 675 kilowatt hour or units. Now total electrical consumption in 30 days is electrical consumption of bulb and electrical consumption of heater. So you have to add this to 144 plus 675 units. Okay, altogether it becomes 819 units or kilowatt hour or kilowatt hour kilowatt hour so this is your answer write down answer statement at, at the end so this is the solution of question number 16 now we are going to do question number 17 question number 17 is here question number 17 write three uses of Iron in our daily life. Uses of iron in our daily life. So the iron is used. Iron rods are used in construction of buildings, bridges, roads and pillars, walls etc. Yes, iron rods are used for RCC. We know that. And uh, it is used in manufacturing steel. Okay, manufacturing is still it is used in making agricultural tools and weapons of different types. So these are the uses of iron. Okay, iron is very very useful metal in our everyday life. Okay, so many articles used by us in everyday life are made up of iron. Now question number 18. How can we prepare a weak acid from carbon dioxide? Right with chemical equation. Now, weak acid is prepared from carbon dioxide in the following way. Carbon dioxide plus water forms carbonic acid. Yes, because carbon dioxide dissolves in water under high pressure and in low temperature. Okay, so this is carbonic acid. H2CO3 carbonic acid is soda water. It is soda water and it is used for making cold drinks. Right, carbon dioxide dissolves in water to form carbonic acid okay which is called soda water and it is used to make cold drinks so carbon dioxide plus water equal to carbonic acid h2co3 so this is your answer now question number 19 how does air pollution inhibit biological growth of plants explain inhibit means uh, this uh, disturb okay yes cause hindrance yes so it stops in a way so how does air pollution inhibit biological growth of plants explain air pollution diffuse sunlight air pollution makes the sunlight weak diffused okay so if there are uh, gases like carbon dioxide carbon monoxide and different types of gases are there oxides of sulfur oxides of nitrogen dust particles okay smoke all these make air unclear and this causes uh, diffusion of sunlight sunlight gets weaker 
okay it gets blocked so green plants do photosynthesis process in presence of sunlight and starch food is made so the sunlight is needed for photosynthesis process okay and carbon dioxide is absorbed by uh, leaf through stomata in absence of enough sun rays this process gets hampered the stomata of leaves do not open properly and carbon dioxide cannot enter into the leaves for photosynthesis process right so thus lack of food in plants inhibit biological growth of plants so because of this reason uh, you know food cannot be made cannot be prepared in plants in enough amount and that causes disturbance in the growth of plants biological growth of plants this is your answer photosynthesis process get the stopped okay if there is air pollution if the sunlight is not very strong and if stomata do not open properly then carbon dioxide cannot enter into the leaves okay and chlorophyll cannot absorb enough sunlight for photosynthesis process starch food is made in photosynthesis process this food is used uh, for growing it is the a necessity for growth of the plant and that food is not enough that is why the growth of the plant will get disturbed or prevented now question number 20 write any three difficulties mendel would have faced if he carried his experiment on human instead of pea plants now mendel did his experiment on pea plants if he, he would have carried out his experiment on human beings then you would have faced these difficulties the three difficulties mendel would have faced if he would have carried out his experiment on human beings life cycle of human is very very long it would not be possible within one lifetime yes so it would not have been possible to do within one lifetime so uh, it, it was impossible like uh, self fertilization is not possible in humans so the to produce second filial generation self fertilization is required okay so crossing among the offsprings of same parents of the previous generation right to so self fertilization is not possible in humans and humans do not produce large number of offsprings so uh, these are the three points or uh, you can right uh, you know pure character is not available in case of humans which is required for the uh, for producing first filial generation of spring so this experiment was not possible in case of humans so these are the difficulties uh, mendel would have faced if he would have carried out his experiment on human beings so with this we finish discussion of group number c